Hello anyone watching now or later, you didn't hear along with Kachir! And oh, right the Why did it swap away from this? Uh, it, it should there we go. That was ah. odd. It was working whilst I didn't have it selected earlier. And yeah, welcome to Something Sunday, where we'll be trying out up to four games, but giving them about half an hour each. And yeah, the first one we're starting off is Shadowrun Hong Kong. And I'm also testing out a little thing here with... Uh, yeah, you could see it flicker there for a second. Uh, I'm using NVIDIA Broadcast to basically... Yeah, I'm using one of its features to remove the background. And it is... It is causing a bit of flickering on the screen that NVIDIA Broadcast is giving, but on OBS, I'm... Now that it, there's a bit noticeable there, but not too much. Uh, yeah, if that... If this works without too much, uh, yeah, distraction, I'll probably be using this for more in the future. It, it's not as good as a full green screen, but I don't really have space for a green screen. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Shadowrun Hong Kong. I've played... I've known a bit about the Shadowrun series. I've played the original Shadowrun Returns, uh, which is sort of a... Pre no, it's not really... Basically, there were three Shadowrun games released recently. Shadowrun Returns, Shadowrun Dragonfall, and this one. I have played through... In the, I've played through... Uh, both Returns and Dragonfall. Dragonfall not to the finish. I think I got distracted, as usual. It's... Well, yeah. Each of these games comes with their main campaign. This one is Hairbrain Screens. Hair, Hairbrain Schemes. The, uh, the stable and prosperous port of call in a sea of chaos, welfare, and political turmoil. The Hong Kong Free Enterprise... Um, oh, yeah. Give me a second. For some reason, NVIDIA Broadcast is also recording. And yeah, it is a bit loud. Hopefully that'll skip... Actually, let's just move forward, see if that... Stay, if that stays the same. Typically, games are... I've set things up that audio of a game should be limited to a bit below my voice, but... Yeah, not all of them, it seems. And it seems that I also need to move the chat box to the side a bit, because that was showing quite a bit off on there. Let's see, create your character. Let's see, race, we have the humans, basic humans, as always. All humans have a plus three to karma at the start of the game. Maximum body stats. I, Shadowrun is, works a bit differently than the most, uh, <clears throat> than most uh, tabletop systems. Yeah, really like Dungeons and Dragons and starts mostly D20 systems. There, yeah, with this you have a maximum uh, limit to some things. Yeah, uh, the elves plus one to charisma. They have a higher quickness limit, higher charisma limit. But other than that, they are the same. Dwarves plus one to will. Eleven quickness or eleven, eleven body max, twelve strength max, willpower eleven max. The orcs, plus one to body, 14 maximum there. So yeah, these guys are very tanky. 12 strength, lower than the usual charisma max. Same for intelligence and will at the standard nine. And then we have the trolls, plus one to body, plus one to strength. Uh, even higher body limit, although their quickness is limited to eight. Strength even higher than you know, or even orcs, but yes, in kind. Their charisma and intelligence are also far lower. It's, uh, which would you say we'd go for with this test? Well, I, I'm a bit of a always favorite uh, dwarf and elves, so. I mm. thought so. Let's see. And then we have the archetype that we can take. Basically, a class system. We have street samurai, freelance operatives who follow a code of street honor. They are learning the ways of the traditional samurai warrior and pra 
and the practice of modern combat. Some sell their skills for profit, while others work to take out the dishonorable uh, scum that seems to breed in the urban sprawl. Uh, keep uh, attributes body strength and core quick, body and strength or quickness. And then we have some skills that they will specialize in. I believe that make, uh, means that it is easier to invest in those than the other skills. Mages specialize in the casting of spells, but it doesn't mean that they can't use physical weapons as well. As well as hello. Wide range. Hey, hello there, Ron. Hello, I really, should, I really should just turn off streamer mode or something with this every time. Because I don't get a ping when you show up. Uh, let's see, where was I? Their spells cover a wide range of magical effects, from a passive da offensive damage attacks to character augmentation or degradation spells to healing spells. Key attribute, willpower, the decker. The Deckers are what Shadowrun is most known about. They're basically the cyber hackers. Deckers oh. use a cyber deck to jam in, to jack into the Matrix, the worldwide information grid and power computer uh, and computer network. By projecting their minds into the electronic world, Deckers can find secrets others keep hidden away. They use programs and expert systems to fight off the protections that mega corporations place in their way. Basically, yeah, cyber hackers. Shamans believe that their magic comes from a totem spirit that guides their life path. This relationship allows them to summon spirits and command them to do their bidding. Shamans have the ability to conjure spells that mages cannot. And their key stat is charisma. But, uh, and each of these have their specific uh, specializations. The street warriors have combat mostly, even though it doesn't really say it. And there's no space Sorry. for it left. Mages, okay, that doesn't say key specializations, expert systems, the hackers, shamans, spirit control, and the riggers have drone combats. Riggers use specialized cyber tech to control small robot-like vehicles called drones with their minds. They can use this ability to provide surveillance, support, and extra firepowers when re uh, required. So basically typical drones, but with uh, yeah, the matrix jacked in. <laughs> And finally, we have the physical adepts. Adepts are magic, uh, are magically active characters who focus their magic internally, seeking to reach their utmost potential physically, mentally, and spiritually. As adepts unlock new abilities, they become honed physical machines using their magic to enhance their close uh, combat uh, abilities. Again, I'm gonna post so basically something monks. just for a quick second. Okay. I want to see what the rigor does with this. I played the original with a uh, street. I played Shadowrun Returns with a street samurai, and let's just actually, I, I could have gotten a <laughs> different pro, can I, okay, can I just go back, yeah, let's check go with on, that portrait. Check on the general channel, just what I posted. Uh, I'd have to look away from the game for a second. Ah, let's see. Okay. <laughs> Spend your karma. Karma represents the experience characters earn while running the shadows and achieving goals. Karma is used to improve attributes and skill. Okay, these are basically skill points then, yeah? Yeah, um, pretty much. Like, like I said, I'm familiar with Shadowrun, but I'm not uh, well, well versed in it. Yeah, I'm vaguely familiar with it. What? I was like, I have heard of it, but I never played it. I'm fam vaguely familiar with the concept of cyberpunk. <laughs> Let's see, intelligence is our main thing. And okay, this I somewhat remember. Uh, your max stat in something determines the maximum of a you can put into a point. So let's see. Can equip class B drones. Okay, biotech. Owns the hit points recovered when using a med kit. Okay. We don't have access to uh, we we can get access to decking, but it is not more expensive. Hmm. And yeah, the higher you up you go in this, the more it costs to progress as well. Uh, let's put some points in drone combat as well. Body, cyber affinity, hand raise or cyber weapon. Okay. Quickness, a measure of their physical resilience for each point of body. Right, why is it darts? Quickness. Used to calculate the chance to hit in range combat. Okay, so that's going to be very useful. Um, hmm. Let's 
pull some points from here for now and put them in quickness and dodge because that's probably going to well be of a big effect in combat and then we have two points left and let's save those up we can use those for well, we won't be spending yeah, let's just spend it somewhere let's see Let's get ourselves some basic decking just in case it's needed. Choose an etiquette. Etiquette is about knowing how to behave in various social situations. The right etiquette can give you an edge in certain conversations. Choose an etiquette from the list below. It does not cost karma. It can only be chosen once. So basically this is your background. We have corporate background, security background, gang background, socialite, shadow runner and academic. Let's go with security. Um, let's go with that. Yeah, just some run random. Okay. It's a YouTuber. One new message. Uh, hi. It's Ray. Tonight, it's still a fascist version of the communist. Look, I know we haven't spoken. Yeah, no, no, I'm, 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 I'm gonna go to with what they, what they posted Remember in tonight's day, episode. Yikes! I told you that the past is just a story. That if you can just accept that, your past loses all power over you. Finish something I should have faced a long time ago. And I need you with me. I know we're not blood and we didn't leave things in a good place, but you and Duncan are the only real family I have. Please, if our past means anything to you, meet me in Hong Kong right away. Explain more when you get here. I'm begging you. I'm almost out of time. About to top the fourth wall. What? Yeah, that was a non sequitur to everything. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, just to answer, yes, I do know it. I've been, I'm pretty sure I've been following Linkara since uh, early on, or not from the start or so, but at least since he was part of Channel Awesome. Mm. And yeah, that was certainly something. It seems that he definitely was low on time and he ran out. Wherever that was. Well, he's dead. Anyways, I've been thinking of fucking... I don't know. Like, basically, you know... I, like, I have a bunch of characters and I have this fucking sound in the back of my head about making this large fucking story and shit and stuff like that. I kind of want to make one chapter where the main enemy is like Mechakara, which is basically like Linkara, only his only his skin has been worn like over a metal endoskeleton, like it's a T1, like it's a T800. Okay. Pretty sure you've probably seen that, Hillian. Yeah. And then you took off, left it all behind, landed behind bars for a time, tried to start a new life after that. It's been eight years since you've heard Raymond's voice. I want, until out of the blue, you got this cryptic message, a plea for help. Meet me in Hong Kong right away. And wire to your account, enough new yen 
you know, to pay for the flights and then some. New yen is basically the new currency. It's, well, new yen. Oh, yeah. It's been, it's been bastardized to new yen. Yeah. The descent is rough. A squall comes out of nowhere, sending a solid sheet of rain punching into the orbital transport. With a ragged shudder, the plane finally skids to a halt at the edge of the Czech lab uh, tarmac. Uh, an hour and an interminable number of emotionless security checkpoints later, you hail a water taxi to Victoria Harbor. Hong Kong looms ahead. A water ahead, taxi? Pulsing with energy. Probably some sort of boat taxi. Mm. Well, it's, there it is. That one makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it's a ferry. That is literally a fucking ferry. <laughs> okay. You step from the churning water of the water taxi to ponderous uh, uh, rocking of the boat, your stomach lurching at the transition. As soon as you're clear, the captain nods once and steers the small craft back into the harbor. Uh, the man never said a word. He just handed you a worn brown duffel bag when you stepped on board, filled with gear, some stiff new body armor, and a note, better safe than sorry, D. Okay. Above, smog-thick clouds hang low in the sky, reflecting the light of the city in a nauseating swirl. The wind changed in this direction more than once, creating a steady stew of rodents, diesel, sea salt, street food, and filth. It's all you, you know, can do to keep your in-flight meal where it belongs. Two figures stand waiting in the dim light of the pier. The first is an orc, lean, with an in-your-face you know, in muscles, and a jaw made to break neck fists. The second is an elf, one hand resting casually against her hip. Raymond Black is nowhere to be seen. This is Duncan. Okay. Now don't you look like shit. Duncan Rue, the closest thing you have to a brother. You haven't seen the man in eight years. Still as charming as ever. He grins. Green's not you know, really your cutter, uh, Hilia. He doesn't go with the nice new armor I got you. As you open up your mouth to respond, something shifts alarmingly in your stomach. A liquid bubbling sensation. Okay, now we have some time. Let's see. We can try to tough it out. And then we could. <laughs> All the other options are just <laughs> interrupted by vomiting. Either blah or blah or blah or hi, how you doing? <laughs> Let's see. Must be. Guess you've still got you know, some of your old fortitude at least. Glass. Considering how much since you know, the salt uh, we used to put down, I'd be surprised if you couldn't handle a little chop. Anyway, we gotta find Raymond. Find Raymond? I thought he'd be here. Never showed up. He still uh, got that same rare stone rasp. Had it since he was 12. Who developed early? Okay, let's see. We have no clue where he may be. When was the last time you saw him? No sense. No. Okay. No clue where? No. Who robs his head? Uh, I just checked in with the local PD and morgue. If he's dead, his body hasn't turned up yet. That's a good sign, I guess. Okay. But, uh, you seem kind of tense. You're eating enough fiber. <laughs> My colon's fine, thanks. <laughs> Who robs his head? He's an old man, and he's out there alone somewhere. Let's see. 65 isn't that old, especially when you're living in a world where people can get centuries old all of a sudden now. Let's see, Ray's a smart guy, he can take care of himself. York bows his head, his voice sounding far away. He's not the same, really. Raymond hasn't been himself in a long time. How so? He's been restless, staying in his study inside his own head a lot, and he barely sleeps anymore. I've been wondering, I've been worried about him, but I haven't figured out what to do about it. He looks up into you and shrugs. I didn't have a sister to turn to. I wasn't too sure you were even alive still, until Raymond managed to track down your number. The woman standing beside him breaks in. You should get going, Duncan. Head back to the meeting point in case your dad shows up. Copy that, Sarge. They're wearing Lone Star body armor. It looks like Duncan Wu's gone private police. Okay. Uh, it's, uh, you his partner? Unfortunately, yes, although partner is not the right word for it exactly. I like superior officer better, she grins. Let him carry my coffee for me, riding my parking tickets, that kind of thing. Okay, then why the hell are you here? The woman taps her chest with an armored finger. Harder. I figured I could use some backup. Didn't know what raid got himself into, and I wasn't sure you were gonna show up. 
It's a you know, tossed off remark, but there's an undercurrent of resentment in it. Of course I showed up. Yeah, well, I wasn't so sure, you know? He shakes his head. Someone having some chatter in the background? Oh, oh my am. Hey, look, I'm glad you're here, seriously, but I, yeah, I'm gonna need some time to get used to having you around again. Been a while since I heard from you, you know what I mean? Not Are you sure. talking to me or are you talking to the character? Because I'm confused. Uh, uh, not, I'm not sure. I thought I heard a bit of chatter in the background. Could have been the game, could have been someone on Discord. That was me. I was watching a clip from Married with Children. Okay. Oh. Let's see, okay, memories of... Mm, yep, go on. Right. No, I was just gonna say, since you were, like, reading everything, I was just like, okay, I'll just distract <laughs> myself with something. Okay. Memories of sleepless nights in lockup flash by, wondering if you'd ever uh, see Duncan or Raymond again. Wondering if you even wanted to. Okay, there's some history here. Then, stepping out into the daylight, suddenly free the fallout of some obscure corporate restructuring. A few hundred million worth of apology from your former jailers and a decision to start a new life, to leave the past behind. All of it. Until now. Let's see, I know I've been out of touch. Let's try and be friendly with, uh, well, our, our, bro our, our uh, not biological brother. Let's see. Who stares at you, his goggles reflecting the harbor lights? You could say that, yeah? He scans the waterfront, frowning. Let's just find Raymond. He was supposed to meet us in the plaza on the other side of this pier. Yeah, this, these games get very chatty because, yeah, as you've already noticed, there's no voice acting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, these games were started with crowdfunding, after all. And, oh. Yeah, there's only so much you can do when you have, like, a fuck ton of stuff to write because there are there is a lot of possibility in these games. Like, all of those, a lot of those skills, all of those affiliates, all of those offer, if not entirely different parts, at least different uh, steps in things. Oh. Th the sooner we find them, the sooner you can, uh, you, know, you all can have a big family family reunion over dinner. Got to rinse, and the sooner I can find a place to get a drink around here. Damn right. Ahead of you, Hong Kong rises serpent-like from the sea. Government and megacorp coiled together, rising in their basket of institutionalized corruption. No one can tell where the snake's body ends and its tail begins. Yeah, that's what Raymond used to say. Duncan turns and starts down the pier. Carter follows. Uh, yeah, as is obvious, this game is an isometric one and we already have a drone following us. Okay. Let's see. Something to expect there. Why are they there. the drone? Uh, they're but probably because it gets destroyed sooner or later. Ow. How much the name the is expanding. Is there... Okay, we can't see that again then. There's no sort of chat system. Anyway, the combat in this game, like the tabletop version, is turn-based and well, mostly de de yeah, dependent on skills and action points. And let's see, locked gates. Okay. Someone. Hmm. Is this supposed to be locked? The guard shack at the end of the pier is dark and empty. Duncan gives the gate a push, but it doesn't budge. Oh, that was open. Oh, well, that was open earlier. Frowns. Looks pretty solid. Shouldn't there be someone here to let us out? But, uh... <laughs> Maybe if you bang your head against it hard enough, it'll open. <laughs> Quick! Hit it with your head! All right. Yeah. It smells a little funny, don't it? I was supposed to hit my dog to realize it will hurt. Oh, it no, probably will not. hurt. Yeah, okay. And yeah, that looks like at least a foot or two of concrete, at the least, if it's not some you know, special uh, yeah, cyber attack <laughs> stuff. Like, it looks like it might be made of metal. Yeah, that would be even worse for him. For us, it'd be worth a lot. <laughs> Carter shrugs. Who knows? It's Hong Kong. Not exactly sure how things work around here. Are you new then, or is it just admittance that typical things can change on a dime? Come on, rookie. We can cut through the construction sites. I hate it when you call me that. 
You've got to wonder, how did he manage to wrangle his uh, CEO into helping him on this? What is her take on in this? Because in Shadowrun games, there's always another... Uh, where can we go? There's always a hidden agenda. This is locked and we can't interact with it. So where are we supposed to be able to cut through then? Here? It doesn't seem like there's a path here. Missing something. So, Helsing Ultimate is apparently part of um, here. Netflix. Wait, what? Helsing? Yeah. The anime. Oh. For a moment, I thought you said Helsing abridged. <laughs> no, <laughs> be something. Helsing abridged would be even funnier. Regular on the, the regular on the Helsing anime, not like this. Okay, then we're definitely showing you Helsing a bridge eventually because then yes, <laughs> I see basically a it's a masterpiece of a bridge. Hmm? Sorry, I'm a little bit uh, over there already, and I hate it. Was it the first episode? Because that's the worst one. Because they well, they were just starting with that shit. No worry, I don't think it was the first one. Okay. I don't think I really like a bridge even to begin with. Okay. Yeah, but maybe... Hmm. We can give one episode a try, see if it's, uh, that changes your mind on it. Uh, that'll be for then. For now, the gate is locked, but, uh, but the nearby control panel appears accessible. Carter pulls it open with a metallic screech that pierces your skull, sending a new wave of pain into your churning stomach. Let's see, she examines the control panel for a moment, then throws Wu a backwards glance. Looks like there's an, another way off the docks on the other side of this gate, and I think I can bike him past the lock. Or we can take a shot at it. Or uh, these other options probably just uh, yeah, have us going for the breaking the lock. Carter steps aside to let you get at the panel. Enjoy. This is a civilian area, and security is light. You bypass the door circuit with ease. The gate rattles open. And there we go. Now, are we going to get ambushed here? Because I very much suspect we Yep. Shouting in Cantonese. More Cantonese too quick to catch. And there's numbers three and four. Okay, now we're getting serious. The rope in the dock was finishing a pa uh, was fishing a package uh, out of the speedboat when you surprised them. Now the package is at the bottom of the bay and the speedboat is disappearing in the distance. Sounds like we just walked into a drug deal. They close on you, red-faced and yelling. The light of the ar harbor glints off their weapons as they approach. The leader shouts something in Cantonese, but it's too fast to make out. Your rusty, it's been years since Raymond's house, the language lesson that wouldn't uh, end. The old man never spoke anything but his native language at home. Wu speaks with authority. His Cantonese is as solid as ever. He never let it drop. You guys are uh, doing some late uh, night fishing? Tattooed gunman. The smuggler smiles. Oh yeah, we're fishing for assholes. Points at their weapons. You're gonna need some better uh, bait. All you're gonna cast with that is trouble. Let's see. Uh, okay. Either we <laughs> we can poke him a bit. We can try out our, well, almost decade-old experience with the language. Or we can try and bluff them. Bluff. Yeah. Bluff as hard as you can. Yeah, there's four of them, though, and they're already angry. And, yeah, this is this is probably going to be the combat tutorial anyway, so let's give it out a shot. The spokesman laughs, looking at his crew. Yeah, you talk good Cantonese, baby, real authentic. He keeps laughing. Actually, you must. <laughs> he just told me to screw my light bulb. <laughs> okay, so something uh, tells me you're not a cop. Or you're a cop from the uh, U U3S, and you've got no jurisdiction here. He grasps his rifle. Either way, this ends the same. I think he's done talking. Okay, turn based combat. Now in turn-based combat mode, each character on your team has an action pool. He is spending these actions, and spend these actions on movement, attacks, or using spells and items. Once your team's turn is complete, the enemy team will move and attack. Additional tutorial. 
Okay. First off, we like let's get into cover. Huh? Uh, we have we have no uh, we have our pistol here. If the Chetty security 500, seven damage. Not sure. What, oh, that's probably armor piercing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for laughing, but, um... Lacey should just quietly remove COD Vanguard yeah. out of their storefronts. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, because of the massive allegations against Bobby, Ka Bobby Kautzik and fucking Active Blizzard, this, like, both the PlayStation and Xbox guys have gone on record saying, what the fuck, and currently, PlayStation just quietly removed X, like, COD Vanguard out of their storefronts. Mm. That sounds like ridiculous, but at the same time, no, I mean, not many people like it to begin with, so... Oh, she's, yeah. a, ma she's a mage, okay. Let's see. Hit her with Let's magic. Try to finish him off. Yep, that's one gone. Even the odds. We got a crit on that. Okay. And our drone is uh, out in the open. Uh, someone just bla was blazed the shotgun, shotgun blast. Yep. Ben. Okay, for shotguns to work, you need to get a whole lot closer. Okay. He's got a flank but, on yeah, this guy. But yeah, it's slowly getting worse. For Bobby Kotick. Yeah, I've seen them in the news recently, and uh, I have space bomb over the madness. Oh, I get the feeling it's gonna get worse before it gets better. Okay, this does more damage. Now we have control of our drone. We've got a flank on that guy. And we can just keep shooting it as long as we have points. Um, can I switch to. I can switch to you, yeah? Can you finish this guy off? Yes, you can. Okay. Then back to Duncan. Uh, medium cover, medium cover. Let's move ahead a bit more. We'll still be covered, but we can work on a flank. Okay. Harder. Let's see. Aim one. Increases hit chance. Strip armor. Okay. Heal wounds. And armor one. Okay, so basically, uh, let's see. We have our health, and then we have armor up there. Armor, I presume, is just to subtract damage. Actually, can you give armor to the drone? And we can send the drone out to go kick their ass. <laughs> yeah. I don't really know if you can give them armor. That dumbass is out in the open. Okay. Take control of I you. Just realized the drone is named of our dog. What? The drone is a Doberman Mark II. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> For me, it's more like a dog. Oh, we can still take a turn as well? Okay. Uh, we don't have a line of sight on that guy, but we do have on them. But we miss. Okay. Uh, you have a line of sight? Yes, you're in a good cover, so just take the shot, and miss. Oh, cool. Second shot, okay. Then let's finish them off. Off them is because of cover. Okay. And it, it seems like it's going with modern XCOM uh, rules mostly, in that uh, each character gets two actions. Yep, and there we go. You think those guys were triads? Not sure, I don't recognize their tattoos. 50 bucks says they're triads. I think we're doing this. They're just okay. not, they're not like local triads though, they're like just settling in. Yeah. Triads. I, 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 I actually forgot about triads. Yeah, they, yeah, the triads are like the Chinese Mafia and the Yakuza are the same, for, but, but for the Japanese. Yeah, yeah. no. I haven't heard of them in ages. Most times I hear them um, they are in very old movies nowadays. Yeah. 
Let's see. Looks edged with monofilament. And the corporations here don't screw around. But uh, Duncan and I have, have plenty of pins before. Uh, why don't we cut ourselves an opening? Probably because it's electrified or something. Let's be right back. Just gonna put food in the machine. She shakes her head. Even if you could, it snap back on you. Ever seen a high tension wire whip yeah, through a human body? You don't want to. Yeah, because those things will cut through you like a knife through butter. Duncan nods in a, it nods his agreement. We aren't touching it. How about it, Carter? Think you can get the gate open? So it's it in. What do you think? She eyeballs the job. It'll take me a few minutes, though. Frowning, she leans in to get a closer look to the mangled fuse box. A few seconds later, she starts pulling wires and yanking fuses. A look of intense concentration on her face. I thought she was a mage. In Cantonese. Uh, he sounds like uh, Raymond when he does that. But, uh, <laughs> the, the pen of my aunt is sitting on the end table, satisfied. He's gonna, yeah, shice. <laughs> She is. Carter likes to know how things work. She used to be on the bomb squad. He continues in Cantonese. We speak only Cantonese from now on, just you know, like we did when we lived at Reynolds. Those endless drills are about to pay off. Okay. Okay, uh, as a side note, we have David Lynch's Dune in Netflix down here. Okay. You know, because... Is that the new one or the old one? The old one. Okay. Again, like I said, Makes David sense. Lynch. Oh. Yeah, I'm not too familiar with the Dune stuff. I, I've played parts of a game of it, not the strategy one. Might have to dig that out if I have it somewhere. I know it's one, oh, satisfied. Oh. Then turns his back and scans the horizon. At least you can right, still handle yourself right. in a fight. So you're a Lone Star now, huh? That's right. Aren't you worried what I've been up to for the last eight years? Nope. The sound between you gets louder, heavier, and is broken by and suddenly waiting streets. Wu's hand goes to his holster. The screech is replaced by the sound of grinding wheels. Glancing over to the console, you see Carter grinning back at you. Got it. Okay. And hello. Almost missed that. Let's see. I believe there is a button. Toko, an illegal street drug made from the leaky kamikaze formula. Adds plus one body, plus one strength, and plus one willpower for five rounds. Every time the user is attacked, strength increases. Okay, might as well grab that before someone else does. I think you can press a button to have interactable bits show up. I'm not sure. It has been a long while since I played the, the first Shadowrun Returns. And I think we're over 30 minutes at the moment, but let's take a Let's keep this going a bit more to see what the hell is up with this Raymond. Light from the nearby vendor stall stabs into your eyes, triggering a throbbing ache in the back of your skull. You stop short, squinting as rough voices drift in on the wings. Where's everyone else? Where's the damned shipment? We haven't seen them yet, we just got here. The voice becomes irritated. Long ways probably waiting for us so we can haul it off the boat for him. Uh, that lazy bastard. Let's just hang out here, let, let him find us. Some boys low. Looks like we're on a stroll through Smuggler Central. Those gangsters uh, don't know we're here. We could probably slip past. Or we could clip them. They're already looking for us. Might be better to take them out now. While we've got the element of surprise on our side. Let's see. While unaware enemy... Uh, while unaware hostiles are on screen, press the unholster button to enter turn-based combat mode. Okay. Not sure if that was in the origin in Shadowrun Returns, but for the moment let's just. Oh, I thought more there was some picking something up, but no, that's a way to get through here. Okay, and that's a skill point gained from evading them, I'm guessing. Yes. Yeah, you got karma. Nice. Yeah, which are the skill points here? Remember. And what is that there glowing? Hmm. Either way, this troll wants to talk. Crossing the streets, you can make out four shadowy figures loitering in the plaza heads. Troll, orc, dwarf, elf, two men, two women. They're different from the smugglers on the dock. Alert, poised, professional. You can see they've made a token attempt to conceal their weapons. The unspoken message is clear. 
We're strapped. Mind your business. Uh, mind your manners. Who stands up tall, taking that the smooth tone he gets whenever he's standing toe to toe with someone bigger, someone who doesn't uh, uh, know they're about to go down. Evening, folks. You got permits for those bazookas? <laughs> Troll pulls his mouth into a comic frown. Permits? Hmm, give me a minute. He makes a show of padding his pockets. Nope, guess not. I must have dropped mine in a dumpster, along with the last idiot who stepped to us. Who coolly surveys the scene, nods in a friendly fashion. Is that right? Well then. You can almost feel Wu's cop training kick in. It's like watching a drone execute a command routine. He reaches for his rifle, brings it up quick, but it's uh, too late. By the time it hits uh, shoulder level, an assortment of nasty looking ordnance is already trained on his head. Carter backs him up. She whips her arms forward, fist blazing with magical fire. Her eyes sweep the scene, darting from one figure to another. Alright, everyone just be cool. The thick troll's voice is casual. Amused, he shakes a gun in Wu's face. A little late for that, isn't it? Let's see. Ta -ta. <laughs> Listen guys, my stomach's doing somersaults. How about we all put our guns away before someone gets hurt? The sick troll snorts a laugh. <laughs> Look, uh, looks like he could use an enema. Uh, something we can do for your officer? Wu's jaw tightens, but his tone stays cool and controlled. I'm uh, looking for an old man, Raymond Black, who we're supposed to meet him here. You know him? The troll nods his enormous head. Mm hmm. Wu's voice gets an edge. You can see a vein in his temple start to pulse. Where is he? Carter sees it too, keeps her voice neutral. Easy, Duncan. The troll maintains amused uh, eye contact, but his weapon stays trained on Wu. That's right. Easy, Duncan. Your friend May Raymond never showed. We've been waiting for the better part of an hour. Okay, so it was a three-ray meeting then. Okay. Who are you? Guys, yeah, Duncan. No one you want to mess with. The Orc Gold chimes in. Her tone is light. She's trying to defuse the situation. We do our jobs for money. So you were his tour guides, right? The troll, all his yellow-brown tusks shift uh, into a smile again. Kinda, yeah. The old man hired us to take uh, you all on an excursion. Whose brow furrows? Hired you? Takes a moment. Looks him over. There are an art assortments. A cyberduck troll, an orc girl with magic fetishes, a dwarf with a cyberduck slung on her back, and a tall elf standing behind them quietly, inscrutable. All with their guns trained on Wu. These are runners. Here. And with fetishes, it means like uh, totems and such. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> I guess that given the context, because if it was a different sort of fetish, we wouldn't be having this conversation and we probably would be booted off Twitch. Yeah. <laughs> Understanding spreads across Wu's face. His jaw tightens. Your shadow runners. The troll nods. Mm -hmm. Wu's shoulders creep up. His stance tightens. This is bullshit. Ray Raymond would never hire Shadowrunners. They're criminals. <laughs> and the troll corrupts him. Mercenary operatives. The dwarf cuts in. Her, his voice is soft but strong. Criminal <laughs> mercenary operatives. So yeah, you were right. Your buddy Raymond was associating with a bunch of hardened criminals. The troll tosses Wu aside airways uh, glance. A smile while staring down the barrel of his gun. Sorry to burst your bubble, Lone Star. Guess you didn't know the old man as well as you thought, huh? Who tries to shake it off, but he's struggling to process the information. You can feel the heat coming off him. The runners sense it too, and they tense up uh, tight. They're keyed on Duncan, and their guns are big. The looks in their face make it, uh, uh, spaces make it clear. Wrong, wrong bead of sweat, and Wu's going down in a red mist of clouds. Carter remains completely still. Her voice is level, moderate. She's done this before. Let's all stay focused. No need for this to get ugly. She speaks quietly to Wu, who listens without turning. His focus squarely on the troll. We need to find Raymonds. These are the people who can help us do that. Let's see. Yeah, she's right. Let's focus on Raymond. You can tell the poor girl has had enough of the tension. She blurts it out. The old man wanted us to take him into Kowloon Walled City. She waves a hand at us. Wait, that place still exists in this timeline? Probably, <laughs> probably not in the same way, but still. 
Let's see. Two large rats clinging to her hip and shoulder poke their heads over the folds of her clothing. They fix their beady eyes on you intently. You know the walled city? It's slum, right? I've heard of it. it uh, isn't this Kowloon city? The girl sighs, rolls her eyes. Yeah, this is Kowloon, but Kowloon walled city is different. It's a shithole, the worst slum in the Eastern Hemisphere. Trade clips and news stories can't do it justice. Memories of growing up in the Redmond Barrens flash through your mind. It just a, it. I'm pretty sure Kowloon Walled City got demolished like fucking ages ago. I think I remember hearing or seeing a video about it, like some sort of experiment city or something that basically became a like a, a single giant skyscraper or something with everything connected together. I, I, know, know, I think it is. It. But it was more like a block that was so thoroughly packed in that it just sort of became its own city. Yeah. And by the end of the whole thing, they just said, fuck it, evicted everyone, and they just pretty much just demolished the whole thing. Yeah, I'll have to look huh. up on that again. I think Get if I remember it. correctly, one of the levels in the first Black Ops game is actually in the first Black Ops game takes place in Kowloon Walled City. Huh. Okay, I'll, I'll need to look up a bit on that again then. Okay, this is getting a bit long, so after this conversation, let's end it. We get it, it's a real bad place. Now why would a little old man pay you to take him there? Wait, the fuck? The dwarf stands next to her, uh, 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 standing next to her, nods and jumps in. Wouldn't say, he mumbled a lot too, just kept rambling on and on about how he had to get in. Under ordinary circumstances, I never would have accepted the gig. The Walt City is the last place I want to go. But the old man rolled up a truckload of Nguyen, and you gotta eat, right? Who risks a glance at you? His weapon remains oh. trained on the Shadowrunners, but a flicker of uncertainty plays across his face. Okay. I'm baffled now. I'm an HBO Max. Uh, My Hero Academia, Heroes Rising, you know, the movie. Yeah. It's an HBO Max. Okay. What? Okay, let's try to defuse this. Interesting story. Seems like a good time to ramp down this threat of violence, don't you think? Troll flash you a smile. That's all tusks and no warmth. Okay, gangs. Yeah, gang, I tell you what. Looks at his team as he slowly starts to lower his weapon. We're all gonna put our guns down. But the. F oh. Okay. Dude, it completely went. Dude, it completely went uh, sideways. What a fucking thud. Oh, the part has been shot. Uh, the fuck, where did that come from? Uh, Some lost their stuck. elf and the troll. Well, they're dead. Let's move on. Uh, No idea where those shots came from, so I'll just let's see. The sound of high-caliber uh, rifles shouts hang in the air, and the red dots of blades inside sweep up and uh, sweep the air. Carter, the troll, and the silent elf lie dead in a wild and neat pools of blood. Their heads broken open like men's dropped from a four-story building. York school screams from cover. Night jar, night uh, jar, come, big man, talk to me. Gunshot, no, no. She turns to the dwarf, her eyes wild with fear. This shit is, this isn't good. A, vo a voice blares out from a megaphone. This is the police. Lay down your weapons, put your hands behind your head, and come out where you can s uh, we can see you. Duncan, who to come out and where we can see you, we have three seconds. The fuck is going on? How do they even know our character's name? Duncan crouches behind cover, his gaze locked on Cor uh, Carter's corpse. His voice comes in a hoarse roar. Stand down, damn it. I'm law enforcement, Lone Star. Okay, OBS is having a bit of connection issue for them, it seems. Let's see. Not seeing it. Oh yeah, it's reconnecting. So let's give that a second. No, oh, this this went absolutely this shit in less than 10 seconds flat. Yeah, what the heck? We have three dead guys, a sniper patrol, and the cops. There are people claiming to be the cops because that's very easy to do, especially when on you're the one nowhere hand, in fucking sight. On the one hand, yes. On the other hand, 
cops and cops and like fucking cyberpunk tend to just go shoot first, ask questions to whatever the fuck is still alive. Yeah. The corporations basically run the police. Pretty so much. The corporation wants something, the police uh, ask how to jump how high. Ugh. Driven deeper into cover by a hail of gunfire. The dwarf shakes her hair ahead of him, her voice flat. Save your breath, they won't listen. Use your eyes, these bastards aren't here to make arrests. A sniper shot hits the wall next to her head, showering her next explosion of plaster. Okay, we need to get out of here. I won't pipe down, just give me a minute. The red gold stares at the ground intently as if listening. Then her brow furrows, her eyes go beady, and her nose wrinkles up. She begins to sway back and forth, her lips huh. moving soundlessly. Right. She snaps out of her trance. Okay, I've got a way out. It's at the end of the street. Everyone come with me. Everyone, we don't need a rent, not the cops. God, have it. We're the only ones. The little orc whips her head towards her friends. The extra firepower it is. I got us an exit, but we're gonna need... We gotta get past the heat. We can't shoot our way out of this on our own. If nothing else, they can soak up a few rounds for us. Thanks for the vote of confidence. She turns to you, her pupils pinpricks of intensity. So stick the cover and keep close. There's a door down the street that leads to a back alley. That's our exit point. Fall behind, you get left behind. Okay, uh, <laughs> yeah, we've gone on with this long enough. So, yeah, actually, almost an hour! Uh, where is Eris to see? Actually, there's no reason to say because if we stream this, we're going to start up over anyways. So, uh, let's leave yeah. and hopefully not get shot by the police. Which of these is out? There we go. Exit to main menu. Quit. Okay. No, I'm sure about this one because, it, like, it is extremely worthy. Yeah, it, it seems like a good game. Just maybe a little bit too big for something someday. Yeah. Now on to the second game. Uh, ta -ta -ta. Share that on the server. And this one should take a lot less time, and I can actually start the half hour timer with this because I forgot to do that for the first one. And. Uh, Shang, part two. Okay, it looks like Nvidia Broadcast is having some trouble running or something because it's slowed down a lot. Hmm. Okay. But uh, yeah, da, da, okay, that da, is da, weird. Da, da. When the game is running, Nvidia Broadcast is getting issues. Hmm. Oh yeah, this is Shank 2. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing I have my audio running through my mic separately and not... Okay, it's being caught off. Why the hell did it get so slow down on the intro? Anyways, this is Shank 2 by Clay Interactive, the same people as Mark of the Ninja, which we've also streamed before. Though that was before I started recording them and uploading them to YouTube as well. So let's take a look here. We have normal mode, we have hard modes, which he's streaming, <laughs> screaming and has a chain around his neck. Okay, let's go with normal, heavy weapon, chains. Slice him and dice him with this pair of razor sharp instruments of death. Plus 10 to medium, plus 5 to small. Uh, okay, we have a selection but they are locked. Range weapons, throwing knives. Chance basic range weapon, plus 10 to medium, plus 5 to fat enemies. Okay. And then grenades. We can't put the pin back in. Okay. Where would you put? Why would you try to put the pin back into the grenade? You're, you're already pulling the pin out, you might as well just fucking throw it. Unless you're just like really fucked up and it's like, oh shit, I gotta put the pin back in. Stop right there. Take my money. This is all I have. Huh? <laughs> 
Look at this clown. That's a way to start off. <laughs> Press one to push one to shank someone. Oh, I think I see a little bit of this uh, uh, on YouTube, but only a little bit. Okay, yeah, it's a 2D brawler. I expected some uh, most. I... I'm not really sure what I expected, rather than that uh, it be 2D. Okay, this guy's just straight up clawing our way. Ours is oh, you're still alive. Not for long. The game's called Shang. Yeah. Did you not expect him to pull out a knife? I, no, I didn't expect him, but. Hmm. Okay, so it, it seems to be completely just a 2D brawler. This isn't a bad thing. That's not a thing that we've really done before, I think. Yeah, and I'm back, people. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. And I need her to roll me there. I almost called Polly. I probably said the person skank. <laughs> yeah, that would be a lot of a different game. Okay, I thought I saw ink at the... Okay. Yeah. For some reason, the broadcast program is having issues with this game for some reason. Uh, let's see, what is... Yep, that is the grenades. Okay, F is to pick up. Now yeah, the, the, with the, yeah the stream's like really laggy for some reason. Yeah, give all my end, is it? And, well, I have a bit of yellow dot on the corner saying it's on my end, but... Shift to use the machetes, heavy weapons are effective against... Uh, for some reason, this game seems to be very intensive on that, at least enough. I forgot where it was. Press E to do a counter attack. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, that's, that comes up really quick. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's gonna leave a mark, yes, definitely. Okay, let's pick that up. Okay, it's not even pulling that much from the CPU or memory. It's only at 17, 20 percent. Now it's going up for some reason. Okay, weird. Why the hell is this? I'm guessing this game hasn't been optimized well. Hmm. I would not be surprised. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. I don't know if the figures might do that being slow, but if, it, if it's raw as well, that okay. does make me wonder. Yeah, maybe. By the way, I'm in an entirely different fucking continent. Yeah. That too, that too. Okay, maybe. Not a good idea to stay on top of TNT, just saying. Yeah. Wait, TNT next to a... what is that? Is that a ground? Oh yeah, that, that is that is definitely a, some sort of artillery shell, yeah. The odd thing is that the game is running smoothly on the stream, it seems, but why the hell is it being troublesome on Discord then? I, I'm guessing it... I'm guessing this game might not be that well optimized then. Hmm. Possible, and it might just be a bit uh, too much for this to handle, perhaps. Okay, Scott, we can swing off that. Um... Ow! <laughs> what happens? Ah, oh, yeah, definitely. I saw that. Okay. Okay, if it doesn't counter, we grab instead. Currently with me. Oh, it's South America. Most likely. But either South or Central. 
Okay, maybe we... Yeah, this is really odd. I'll have to look up online if there's ways to optimize this game then, or maybe NVIDIA Broadcast is just really messing things up or something. Maybe? Uh, yeah, may maybe. Let's, we could get let's to do this one short term. Wait, what is Did he just jump in midair? Who is this guy? Yeah, why not? Well, the knives! Don't, don't well, that also works. Okay, we can't jump with that. It's probably good, because we'd most likely blow ourselves up somehow. Knowing yeah. you, yeah. And that's more PvP you for. Close enough for that. Okay, let's call this one after 50 minutes instead. Just oh, yeah, we do not want to get involved with that. Who is hostages? Combine all types of attacks for higher scores. Oh, we yeah, can probably no, interact with that to that drop it on them. So we, oh no, we can't even move back. The yeah, gameplay seems that yeah, 2D brawlers typically are a bit basic with uh, their mechanics. Okay, F to use. Now it becomes active. Uh, hello? Oh, oh, okay, big boy. And dead. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Well, Shank's dead. <laughs> the Shank got shanked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, th this game looks like it could be fun, but. Yeah. Not sure if there's really much for a story going, and well, we have the fact that it's somehow causing trouble with Discord let's and such. Put, yeah, let's put it on the maybe pile. Yeah, it, I'll have to look up some possible... Uh, some. Yeah. I'll have to look up some uh, optimization stuff for that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think it is. There is story to this game. I can confirm. Okay. Okay, on to the third game, and this one I'll say up front, this series, this is a big yes. Kante. Yeah. Ow. Okay, okay this, the games are being pretty loud today, it seems. Okay, uh, yeah. new game. The Shante series is quite a bit of a little anomaly. Let's see. Phew. Life is a half genius, hard work. Ever since I ran Risky Boots out of town, every monster in Sequin Land wants a battle. My holding back now won't help any. Gonna have to hair him until it hurts. Eh, uh, yeah. Chante here, she attacks with her hair. Uh, yeah, this is Shantae's Risky Revenge, the second in the series, actually. And yeah, I really need to lower that a bit. And this is actually ported from the Game Cube... No, not the Game to the Game Boy Color, I believe. So it's using uh, Z, X, and C for the controls. And yeah, this series is... Oops, I forgot to set the, start the timer again after resetting it. This series is quite fun. And it's not fun. Yeah, I still got the moves. The Lighthouse. Yeah, WayForward is a nice group of developers. 
they're they're the work that they give is a bit mixed at times like a mix of good games good mix of uh, lesser games but the shantae games are in general just fun and good and this here uh, Oh yeah, space bar instead. Oh yeah, Shante, this is Bolo. I'm off to see your uncle's show. Want to go with? Huh? The Relic Hunter Expo is today? Yeah. Sky and Ranch flew in this morning just to see it. Don't make out Sky's egg. Let it swimming in the bay. Remove a muscle. Yeah, Shante is a nice character, but she definitely has her flaws, and one of which is, well, apparently forgetfulness with something. And yeah, since it is the sequel, the characters are a bit less introduced. Uh, where, where is the bay then? Or do I just have to jump over him? Hmm. I think. I need to watch my beer. Okay. We can swim, but we can't dive down. So I'm presuming we just need to... Yeah. I should have looked a bit further. Uh, yeah, the Shantae series is a series of 2D platformers, but they have a hell of a lot of charm to them. We got the egg. Uh, yeah, Sky would be pretty miffed if that, uh, something would happen with that egg. Yeah, you want to what happened? Apparently, I had a hole in my food that apparently left a huge chunk of mayo and ketchup in my beard. I just wouldn't notice it while looking down. <laughs> so you, you were mayo beard for a minute. Wait, what? You were mayo beard for a minute. Well, I had mayo and ketchup, so mayo blonde beard? Yeah. Got the egg. Let's go. Ew. Smells like grandma. <laughs> I'm sure that's normal. That's yeah, totally a rotten egg now. You're the worst egg sitter ever. They blame me when Sky finds out. What's with his face? Uh, this is uh, the, the 90s, early zeros or something, so. Yeah, but. It's a bit of the art. The art style changes with each of these games a bit. Yes, I, I didn't know it was that old, uh, this game. And all I mm. read about it was mostly one woman, and she was very happy that they ended up accepting her game. Let's see, if I remember correctly, the original Shantae came out at the end of the Game Boy, at uh, the original Game Boy's life cycle. And this game came out for the Game Boy Color, I think. And the next one over, uh, number three in the series, was for the Game Boy Advance. And the fourth one, well, was only recently, or recently is, the last five years or so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it is, it's a series nobody would have really expected to get sequels, but they made them and they're good. <laughs> The Relic Hunters are known worldwide for their unusual discoveries. I hope you see something truly really amazing today. Uh, but wait, if I don't know, you know, I think they sculpted that game was wrong. Enough. Don't worry, today's the Relic Hunter Expo. Fossil old explorers always find the weirdest stuff in the old world. I always pre register. Wait, what? All these boats coming in. Scarlethone ain't got room to dock them all. Enchante, what's it gonna take now to get you back on stage? Quit being so shy. Uh, yeah, Enchante is a belly dancer, and in the original game you had to do quite a bit of that. To, uh, progress at some points, I think. Grasping the white crystal firmly in hand, I duck for several seconds at what appear to be a common cliff. Face until blah blah blah. And here we have Sky. 
relate. It's just going to protect this town against the criminal element. Uh, it is, I don't think being criminally uh, boring is a thing. <laughs> Aren't you a grump? I'm guessing training week was a bust? Total disaster. My ward bird hatchlings literally flew, flew the coop. Well, besides revenge here. Speaking of which, do you have my egg? Uh, yes. That's no worry. So, did you take good care of him? Um... You know Sport Doom <laughs> Eternal and Far Cry Primal don't have a coma, right? Wait, what? Yeah, you mean a double just... point? Yeah. That, that's uh, a I point think it's just used a double point, so however you say that. Don't... That's that's not a double point. That's not a double point. That's that's a point in a coma. Uh, yeah, spoiled rotten. Come on, you <laughs> let it rot. You better have. Oops. It's time. With my empty bowels replacing the you know, treasure, I was able to outwit the <laughs> pressure trap and make my escape. Really? Citizens of Skeletown may I present this year's object of mystery. Oh, man. <laughs> Such bravery. As usual, we kick off the festivities by cracking open a fossilized treasure and offer the contents up for auction. This year's mystery object appears to be encased in solid stone, but feels quite hollow. So I this is gonna go sideways in three, two, one. Let the festival begin. Go. What? Ooh. What is that? It's a lamp. Looks like a real lamp. Are you going to get uh, a cameo by Robin Williams? Rest in peace. <laughs> uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my mistake. I seem to have uh, lost the wrong item. Uh, that is. It's okay, Uncle. Show us. Show us. Yay. No. I mean, no, it's not important. Let's move on to the next events. Please turn your attention to... Hmm? The big hole in the roof. Oh, oh, no need for long. I'm just dropping by for this. Risky boots. Yeah, this is the titular Risky. In the flesh. This planking uncle is always dredging up new collectibles. This one. This takes the cake, doesn't it? Get the worthless lamp. Put it back before there's trouble. This is this. You have no idea the trouble that's in store. Leave home, man. Oh, he's the big one through the roof. <laughs> yeah, there will be a lot of uh, innuendo in these games. Put your back Racing! Sentence. Fortune must follow. The lamp is extremely dangerous. Sky, follow. When have you catch her before she reaches the dock? No way I can handle this. But I guess and that, off she goes. That's a lot about the original author. Hmm? Or, if I remember right, the original creator of Shanti had the build off the. Light build off, you know, had it as a hobby. And she was. Out there, well, she was the one creating. Shanti and the characters, if I remember right. It was a while ago I read this. Okay. Let's see. No sign of Risky Boots or her pirate ship. If I've lost her, I'll never live it down. Apparently, Risky has uh, massive stats and stealth. <laughs> Risky apparently oh. invested in stealth ship technology. Ginigo, looking for me? Risky. I'll give you one last chance to hand over that land. Now things are gonna get ugly. They're going to get ugly, alright. Let's see how you handle my brand new steam powered 
Oceanic Tinko Top. Yeah, she's a mecha girl. As in, she oh, she also, oh, she also invested in fucking mecha. Yeah, lock and load, man. It's time for Whiskey's Revenge, so let's start attack aggressively. Oh. And yeah, boss time already. Uh, ooh, beer! Oh, am I? The uh, beer with a like, very explosive taste, apparently. Well, they each team the need, so... Like, what? Whiskey's just lounging on the edge there. Hey! And back into the water. <laughs> oh, she's so going to fall the fuck off. <laughs> I will admit I've played this all of the Shantae games except for the original. It has been a while, so I'll probably have forgotten plenty. And that's it. Not bad. I've learned a thing or two since our last duo. That don't matter. This lag, I finally got the means to cross check when land. Once and four. Till then, play with this. Yep. <laughs> and he just gets his cheap shot in. Shante, wake up. What? Got away. Remain still, leave the situation to Sky and Bolo. But... And here comes this jackass. Well, this is a fun. Uh, nah, how do you do? Laying down in the job where the pirate once held me all over my town. Ever since this pirate thing started, Skull Time has been going to the dogs. You're a scuttlebutt. Please understand, she's doing everything possible. We're with half genies. For the whole town, we need complete protection. Pack up your things and clear out. The fires. What? You can't mean it. I do. And that's my final word on the matter. Now get going, I'm a busy man. Apparently not busy enough to head out all the way over here. Well. He was in rare form. But he'll change his mind once I get that land back. No, I forbid you to go. Are you acting weirder than the mayor? What is it about this lamp that got you so worked up? I... I can't tell you. No, why not? Promise your mother never to speak of it. That lamp caused a lot of suffering back in her day. Trust me, it's trouble. And better left forgotten. Yeah, because Shante is a half genie. Well, half genie from her mother's side. And uh, yeah, you know what lamp oil lamps typically are associated with with genies? You can at least yeah. tell me why whiskey would steal it. Is it dangerous? No. Not anymore. Genies banished its magic long ago. They divided its powers into three se magic seals and hid them away forever. Even if the dark power was somehow restored, you will remember how to use it. And they intend to carry that secret to the grave. But uncle, Whiskey must know more than you I think, more than you think. Otherwise she wouldn't have stolen it in the first place. That's true, the potential for evil uh, is too great. We have no choice. We must find all three magic seals before Risky Boots dies. It will be difficult, and very dangerous. But afterward, we must never speak of this again. Do you think you're up, for the up to the challenge? If it means saving our town from evil, you bet. I'll find those three magic seals and put an end to Risky's evil schemes once and for all. Uh, it won't put an end to our once and for all, because yeah, there's still three more games to go. What? 
I'm not with a fucking thing to kill yourself. No, Sean, they can't swim. Like, all you can see out there is oceans. You can at least paddle. <laughs> it's... Have you seen the other fishermen in this town? Talk about fat. Uh, pot, meat, kettle. <laughs> Make sure you stop by the shop for some magic before you go. It's just a storm pop. It's the most powerful weapon to start with, even if it's restricted to use. And yeah, these characters will often change the dialogue depending on things, I believe. So those arrow things on the ground, folks call them jump pads. You jump off the one to launch forward or back. They take you straight to the town gate. Yeah, this is how they deal with, well, this, this place being 2D. They add layers. Yeah, it makes this place seem a lot bigger now all of a sudden, huh? Yeah! And I can tell you, this is easily on here where I'm born for. No way in, as I know, he would give a color baby to handle this. I'd have to check up if it was for the color or the advanced. I'm pretty sure that uh, Pirate's Curse, number three, was on the advanced. Or maybe it was on the DS. I'm not sure anymore. Maybe, anymore. maybe the DS, but it was really much first on the Game Boy Or, well, I don't think the old Game Boy would have been able to handle it. How do I get down from here? <laughs> well, you can get um, down, but probably not without breaking that pot on your head. My question to him is always, how do you get up there? As you probably used the jump pad and can't get there. Uh, we have a design flaw. Have you seen the old coot in this town? He's the safe guy. See him if you want to record your progress. Yeah, he'll probably talk to you. Actually, you know that? Yeah, I, I'm... I think things are... This, that this was for the advance, not the color. Because even the, the Game Boy Color was rather limited in its sprite work. Yeah, for the good movement, but not these kind of movements, right? Yeah, no evil pieces on the old one. I love to run. I could always walk, but then I'd have to hold down my attack button all the time. Okay, okay that is nice. Not really needed or anything, I think. Unless the moment you need to walk slowly. And here we have the save guy. We will see a lot of him throughout all of these games because, yeah, I'm I will eventually stream the, the Shantae games. I just need to find a place to put them in yet. Would you like to save a record of your journey? Yes. And there we go. In one game, I say we might see a bit too much of him. That you might like me he shows up a bit too much to, uh, to pull the, the challenge out of it a lot. You've been skipping your belly dance class. Uh, you've, been yeah. you've been skipping your belly dance classes? No wonder you can't remember any transformation dances. If you're playing Rusty, you hold down the dance button to do a practice dance. And uh, yeah, that's one of the major things with Shantae is that she can transform into different forms. Uh, I'm trying to find the button that is for it because they, there's no option, there's no control menu. We have the option menu here, but it doesn't. Oh, control con. Oh, so we can configure the. Okay. I might act. Yeah, I might figure out. Uh, move around. Actually, <laughs> didn't know it has control options, so let's give that a try. Okay. But it kind of makes sense if I'm not putting over to PC. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Jump. Attack. There we go. The Y button does the dances. And yeah, we don't have anything to transform in at the moment, so yeah. Let's see. Don't leave time without a second land map. Shows all the same rooms and such. You can get one at the shop. Super cheap. Let the zombies park their wagon in the tangle course. Just thinking about it gives me goosebumps all over my body. Right here and here and here. And hello, where is this one going? Okay, straight back here, nothing special. But I wanted to go back here anyways because I think this is now 
Okay, it's not the shop. But there is Bolo. <laughs> there! Try visiting your pal Roddy Tops. You can find her... Zombie wagon by heading east from the town gate. It's a straight shot right next to the field and forest. Yeah, there's zombies in this game, but they're a bit uh, oh, different than different. the typical ones. And hello. Oh, no smash me. Smash him. I was waiting for Rum Blood Fast to become brew here. No, we can smash. So I guess we'll have to go find a hole. You know, you lash to the hair. You smash to your hands. I'm famous for my magic uh, jam. It spreads like a dream. It tastes like the blood of heaven. Too bad monsters hijack my latest pants. Find a magic jam. Don't just give it away. Trade it for something valuable. Okay, so most likely a trading quest, which was not more common in these games. Or in this era of games. Let's see, don't leave time without buying uh, magic from this shop. I'd start with fireball magic if I were you. It's perfect for long range attacks and it will ignite some enemies. Uh oh. So this is the shop then? Yep. Why not? Always feel nervous with my healer with anything like explosive or burns. Welcome to the item shop. Let's see, some potions for healing, magic for, well, refilling our magic, fireball spell, and the map. So let's get that. Oh, I think I actually exit it instead. Yes. Okay. We have storm puff, we have attract magic, magic fill, silk, okay, silk, this is attack speed. We have fireball and pipe ball. And yeah, the, these three are spells that we can buy and use. But we don't have enough <laughs> gems at the moment. Oh, uh, for a moment I thought it was the same tip. And then I suggest starting with a pipe ball. It's the perfect orbital defense weapon. Open all defense yeah, the pike ball spell is, uh, causes, well, pike balls to circle around you. You've got to accessorize. Get some silky cream for that hair. It gives your hair full body and repair splits in it. And either damage or attack speed, I think. Welcome to the old import room. We used to carry all kinds of straits from land beyond. But since these pirates showed up, our shipments have stopped completely. If only I could do something about it. I'm sure it's related to anything. Is all of all every woman dancing? Uh, most at the very least, it seems. I'm four. Okay. Oh, when you visited the shop, I traveled from far off lands to check it out myself, but once I arrived, I had no money left to buy anything. So now I just wander aimlessly on this route. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this game is a bit self-aware yet. Yeah. Come on, I want to go past it, not into it. Okay. Right, there we go. Is it the old man? I guess I can get you, you know, let you go then. Is that a human or monkey? Uh, yes. <laughs> Monsters still roam the outskirts of town. Be careful out there. And yeah, Bolo advised to go east. So let's go east. And how are we on time? Have a good one. Okay. Alright. See you later. Have a good one. Later. Later. Keep a sharp eye on your heart meter. Once you run out of hearts, it's game over. If you make an important discovery, be sure to hit the save room afterwards. Yeah, well, of course, that gets the three hearts off the top there. Left of town is the pumpkin field. Off to the right is the lilac field. Try to turn up to get lost. We are probably going to get lost sooner or later in this game. What do you mean we? You mean you? 
I want to go to the wrong to the pond. And this is where I knew I'd love these games, even though I played Half Genie Hero first. Just, I just really like this song. It's called Burning Town. You mean, oh, the song, alright, I was wondering if you mean the song, the thing or that she just adjusted her top. Yeah, yeah. That caught me by surprise. What do you think that would get past the, the game then? Alright. Yeah, so I guess the Shantae games could be called a bit edgy in the fact that uh, they seem to be able to dodge the sensors quite on, quite well. Yeah, the real part is pretty mild. But also many times I've lost about the... Yeah, the, the thing made brighter for the main in the character. Probably pretty bad to open spirited. Greeting stranger, I'm what they call a walk pedestal. It's my job to zap folks from place to place. I'd like to help you out, but until my warp brothers wake up, I can't do squat. Yeah, the fast travel system. It's walk travel by Endwich Horrors. Okay, and a little dungeon room. Yeah, we need something to break those blocks, and we don't have that at the moment, so... Yeah, we can't do much there. Other than keep fighting these scarecrows. Got a few minutes left with this. Though I did, I did once again forget to set the timer at the start, so with this game is getting a bit <laughs> extra. Yeah. We didn't even have enough time for the last one. Um, no. Actually... Uh, the, uh, we have one half an hour left. Oh, right. Uh, of course, I'm looking at the stream manager and that's only counting the time since the disconnect. I really need to put. I really need to get to work on those timers a lot better. Let's see. We started at uh, 15:10, so it's been an hour and a half about. So yeah, we still have time for the last. Okay. What? The, they have wings. Yeah. Let's see. Let's at the very least try to find Rotty Tops because I want to show her. And, and let's see. Where the heck are you? Yeah, th those things will try to drop themselves on top of you. Yeah, if I remember correctly... Hmm. What the heck is that? That's a big-ass rock that we can't do anything with, it seems. What the heck? Oh, my nephew right there. Do you hear my nephew being grumpy? And yeah, this place is already getting a lot more layers. And hello there. Is it morning already? Yes. Okay, time to clock in. Warp squids are on the job. That was right. Oh, it's it's horror. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is going to be useful because. I think I've pretty much never used this map when I recently played this game, so yeah, I got lost a hell of a lot. And there's a skull a bit over. So we need to go in one layer deeper. And then move over to the right. That should bring us to Ronnie Tops, I think. If my memory serves me correctly, and well, it, it often hasn't. And it's another striking golem. This is more than obvious, like, like so many of these games, yeah, there's contact damage. And this, I, this is something that I like about these games as well. When, when a pit is going to kill you, it has skulls swimming out of it. Oh god, I forgot the Jimmy Dodge that. Like, I, I see like some so far through the crowd, and it looks like they're about to pounce on you like a cat and bite your nose. 
Uh, I'm guessing she's half eeny, half, half genie, half cat then. <laughs> Stop that. And this should... Where the heck is that? Very obvious dungeon. Where the heck is Ronnie Tops? Uh, I checked the graveyard. And... and well, the name okay. the name gives it away. Roddy Tops is a zombie. Yep. Yeah, and what the, the heck is that in the background? A Gorgon? Hmm. Okay. What, what? Uh, yeah, what do you mean, the rock? Uh, oh, oh, the yeah, yeah the, that's a naga. Uh, oh. that's... These fights are going to be a nuisance always. Wait, uh, yeah. Naga, Lamia, which, whichever of the two words is applicable. Now, I, I remember there's a one with a name. I don't remember her name, though. If you come out for that one. She doesn't have arms. Okay. Not familiar with that. Let's see. Is she at the back of this or something? Where is that zombie hiding? Okay, not here. Oh well, that, we're not going to find her then, it seems. Or at least not in the time that we have. Yeah, who the heck is that? I keep using the A button, but it, it's the B button to interact with this. So, yeah. D just the Shantae games minus the original, uh, those definitely will get streamed eventually. Uh, I could see us playing those on Saturdays just to, well, have something more happy and colorful between uh, Dishonored and Darksiders. Uh, they are a bit. Le I'm, I'm thinking more on the main days with it because yeah, they they can go get quite long. Ah, okay. And yeah, the last game for to well today I was almost going to say tonight, but it, it's it is getting dark out and it is approaching five, which yeah again is quite telling that it is getting it is winter. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see the sun going down behind some clouds. Pardon? No. Okay, well, no. when it, whenever I'm streaming, I, my stomach seems to act up to some extent. Yeah, I can fix that. Put a hand on <clears throat> yeah. Timer is running out of power. And start. And uh, yeah, this is Sid Meier's Pirates, which I believe is actually a, a remaster of sorts already of a of the of an, a different uh, pirates game by Sid Meier's back in the DOS era, I believe, when most graphics were still uh, symbols and such instead of actual 3D models and such, or even 2D models. <laughs> I'm start the question about him a little bit. If he has a big ego or something. Uh, yeah, Lee, um, if I if I press a button here, it's going to skip this. Let's see. The family's prosperity was soon to be restored. The fleet was due to arrive on the morrow, carrying both their hopes and their salvation. <laughs> but the celebration was befouled by an unwelcome guest. Great! We even locked their doors during dinner. The Marquis himself arrived down ill tidings. The fleet had been lost. The death had come due. The family's property was seized. And they were present to bondage. And one of them would not be a slave. Instead he's going to kill <laughs> killed or, or not. Animations. And so it was that the brave young Sion escaped his family's fate. And was surrounded to save them and one day avenged the Marquis' foul deed. Ten years later. Technically, foul 
Yes. The eagle also probably now grown to his full measure. The young adventurer began his quest to find his family and restore their fortune. Legal by today's standards? No. Legal by those standards today of those days? Most likely, yeah. If you'd be looking for passage to the Americas, you know, can sign up here. And yeah. This is not really character creation, but more uh, to we can choose our difficulty level here. Or we should... Ah, oh, there we go. Once the name has been added. Difficulty, starting with Apprentice at the lowest. Was popular at the highest. Uh, let's see. The best choice for the new player includes numerous play suggestions from model or opponents. To our journeyman, once you've gotten your sea legs, opponents are tougher and sword fights more decisive. Adventurer is for the experienced pilot. Sea battles are more dangerous and things more treacherous. Only the bold will attempt the rogue level. Skilled opponents will constantly challenge your command of the seas. For the, uh, for the consummate sea dogs, Rosbach player will test every aspect of your pirating skills. Let's go with the easiest one, because I have played this game before, but I've never been able to get to the end of it. And here we can choose a skill. It gives you quickness and reflexes during sword fighting with fencing, which is very useful from what I remember and have heard. Split gunnery. Okay, nice it also changes the picture. Improves your aim and accuracy during ship battles. Improves your seamanship and helps in sailing against the wind. And the wind in this, if I remember, is a can be a really a real pain to deal with if you're going against it. Skill at medicine, improves your health and extends your career as a pirate. I'm pretty sure they didn't have those kinds of you know, bags back in this, these eras. Yeah, sure. Wit and charm. Uh, very useful when romancing the lovely local governess's daughters. <laughs> AKA the, uh, the Jack Sparrow skill if he was uh, less of a doll. Let's go with Spencing. Um, oh, hey, we hey. don't get to pick the time. You need to sign on as part of a crew. The captains at yonder tables will gladly take you back. And here's a last little thing to start off with. There'll be French, Spanish, Dutch and English ships looking for able-bodied lads such as yourself. Take your pick. Take but that's this is easy. <laughs> yeah, that's this only really... Uh, this only really... Actually, this decides where you start, I think and what sort of ship you start with. It's not much of a difference, but I think there is a small difference with each. Welcome aboard, Mr. Hillian. We'll sail with the tides. The crossing was fraught with terror and cruelty. The captain drove the ship and her crew to breaking. can see the cute cool mutinies. I'm not sure firing this cannon on your own ship is a good idea, dude. How the fuck did you get up there? Full sail, the crew and the, the ship and its crew at your command. You make your way into the Caribbean. But yeah, they're not going to start us off as just some deckhands. <laughs> Fortune to be had, only to rescue. Again, this animation is all damn good for being so old. Revenge to be served. Yeah, 2005. Destiny awaits you. The only odd thing I feel about this game is, well, no voice actors? Yeah. Uh, well, there are a lot of lines in this. 
And I, it seems I was wrong, uh, partially. We are still starting at the Dutch colony, of course, but uh, when I tested this game earlier, it sent us... Uh, we ended... Yeah. It made landfall with this at a different port. Hmm. Wait, is that a Dutch flag? Mm, not not the current one, at the very least. Not even sure if it was the, the one back then. I'm pretty sure that... I'd actually need to check how old that flag is. And speaking yeah, of, there's actually a fun little fact about it. Because, oh. yeah, like the French flag, it's red, white, and blue, only it's hor uh, horizontally layered instead of vertically. Uh, oh, yeah. it, it used to be uh, orange, you know, white, and blue. Uh, yep. oh, it used to be orange uh, at the top, but... Uh, yeah, those flags you know, were always hanging in very salty areas. With well, it's the Netherlands is a yeah a, a sea-bound country or a sea-adjacent country. We're not even sure what the right term would be, but, but yeah, always there's a good chance of salt air being blown around, and that salt would turn the orange red over time. So eventually, people just got sick of always having to get new flags. It just made it red permanently. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see. We're here at St. Eustatius. Population 2400. Clean and prosperous. Merchants of St. Eustatius off usually offer high prices for goods and luxuries. The text here will often give some little clues about how things are going. And yeah, basically this probably means that if we were to bring stuff here, we'd be able to sell for quite a, yeah, quite something. Now oh, let's so visit yeah. No mm -hmm. reason I mistook that flag for one of the Japanese clans. Okay. It, it looked a bit oddly similar to one. Okay. Yeah, the tavern will typically have four points of interest. Uh, one, two, three, four, yeah. We have the tavern keep themselves. We have often have, not always, there will often be crew to recruit. I see a monthly collection of Saint Judy. I'm gonna. I'm going to stop saying that name because I, I'm probably butchering it. Uh, of the finest ha locals have gathered at the tavern this evening. Who would you like to talk to? Uh, talk to them. Uh, but, uh, the locals are mostly content. Yet an eager band of 16 men offers to join your current crew of 40. Welcome aboard. In general, it's a good idea to have a good amount of crew. So think if, the, if you don't have enough crew for your boat or boats you can get multiple and uh, it will slow things down but with every crew mate that you have they consume food and at the end of a run they will also demand a share of gold ah. over here a mysterious traveler offers to show you a part of his secret map showing the location of the pirate captain kids buried treasure for 200 gold i don't think we have any gold at the moment and we have the tavern maid. It's rumored that the blue heron bound for Barbados is carrying over 1,500 in gold. I believe she's an English Eastern India man, the barmaid whispers. And yeah, we can get quite a bit of information from the taverns. So headed for Barbados. We could chase after this if we were nearby. But as a start, it might not be a good idea to go after pricey ships. And again, there's probably there, there there will be a lot more pricier stuff later. Have you been introduced to the governor of Mar Martinique's uh, daughter? They say she's a real beauty. True, darling. Okay, let's go have a chat with the governor. Wellington. Yeah, uh, yeah. I I have no idea what this musical instrument is called in English, but in Dutch it's called a clap symbol. It's like a sort of miniature piano. Oh, who was actually a piano? <laughs> My dear Mr. Hillian, please come in. You may be interested Good to know that we are at war with the evil Spanish and the slimy French. When have the Dutch not been? I'm pleased to offer you a letter of Marquis which authorizes you to plunder and sink the, spa and the ships of our enemies. Delfin Toss! As this map will show, the nearest enemy city is the French city of Montserrat, which lies a short distance to the southeast. Yeah. In fact, a juicy French ocean bird was seen this morning heading in that direction. 
Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background with these games because, yeah, things are paused right now, but once we set out, a lot of parts will start moving because there are a lot of ships going around and all four of the factions, will, well, all five of the factions, will constantly be fighting with each other most of the time, at least. Dear. And nice houses. Yeah. Let's see, we, can, we could visit the merchant to buy or sell stuff. I don't think we have either that we can do. Consult with the shipwright. Here we could sell ships, but we don't want to sell our only ship. And at bench. some points we can also get upgrades. And yeah, we have only one ship, so we can't do a thing with it. We have our status to check. You started your career in 60... Uh, 60 the Buccaneers Heroes as a uh, Dutch captain. You are currently an apprentice captain with a skill at fencing. You are now 18 years old and in excellent health. Your crew of 56 is happy. This also plays a part. You will age as you play. And eventually you can get too old to continue on. Okay, oh, oh no. The illustrious Captain Helian. Ilya, it's don't let it get to your head now. We have our personal status, wealth points, ranks, uh, treasures found, pirates defeated, lost relative quest, lost city's quest, romance, villains avenged, captain's log, basically what has been happening and who is at war with whom, basically everyone with everyone. We don't have any treasure maps, we do have a world map that we can look over. So we need to we need to move it around with the arrow keys apparently. It's just same kids to set heat same kitty. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Okay, we can hold it down. Let's see. Barbados. That's what Montserrat. The symbols next to these names, well, coins and cannonballs, you can probably guess wealth and how well they are defended. We have the top 10 pirates, with somehow already we are at number 10. Even though we only have a ship. Yeah. We have Rackham, Bart Roberts, Rock Brasilio, Led Nip, yep. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Steve Bonnet, John, uh, John Lafitte, Captain Kidd, Blackbeard, and Henry Morgan. Not entirely sure if. Not entirely sure if these were actual pirates of the day or not. And yeah, an encyclopedia. Let's see. Dutch refers to the people or culture of the Netherlands. Also the name of the language of the Netherlands. Yeah. Okay. Quite a bit to look through. It's probably due to, well, saying Netherlander is probably a bit more mouthful than saying Dutch. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, take off. And we have control with the arrow keys. And yeah, this is where most of the game will take place, if I remember correctly. We have a compass over here with an arrow in the middle showing the direction of the wind. And let's see. Uh, who was it again that they... It was the French and the Spanish, I think, that the Dutch are at yeah. war with, so those we can attack freely. Yeah, they want you to go to a French city called Marquette, this Marquette something with M. This is the one. I believe. That's the one, yeah. I think. Yeah, it isn't an outright quest of go here, do this, but that is the, the, if the Dutch are going to try and expand, they are most likely going to tr try over there. Now we have our pause button here. We have a view change to put the camera behind the ship which can be useful in some places if you're trying to chase someone down or trying to avoid a storm like that. Uh, we have our fleet status. It's a uh, maximum of 75 that we can get on this. We have no specialists which we can recruit or find in places. We have the map again. And we have... Well, we can attack ships, but probably not the best idea to go harassing the English. It's um, one other thing I remembered is, depending on the era that you start in, things are also different on the map. Like, I believe at the earliest that the French will be the most uh, powerful of the factions, 
but as it goes, the English become stronger and stronger. And let's see, a grain transport of our allies, would we have no interest in attacking. So, yeah, let's have a look. Let's see if we can find any French or Spanish ships to harass around here. And, yeah, already you can notice that our speed is dropping a lot since we're going against the wind. Not really sure how to really get around that. I have... I've heard of... I've heard that in some games with uh, sailing systems, you can go faster against the wind by zigzagging like this. And yes, that, or that uh, this attack button here behind me... Wrong way. ...has been flashing quite a bit, and hello, it's a... It's a, it's a, it's a smuggler. Which ships have we attacked with the flagship? The sloop. Yeah, that's the rock before we end the stream today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. We want to close in. They have about as much crew as we. Uh, find some chain shot. Get them to slow down. Grape shots for the crew. At the lower left here, you see the guns and how much, the, how many of them are loaded. The more crew you have, the faster stuff gets loaded. Can you pick up the? <laughs> yeah. The... Wait. Yeah, we, we can, can steal the crew. Ground shot deals more damage to the ship itself, but it has the dead longest range, I believe. Chain shot, yeah. Everyone knows what Chainshot does. It goes for the sails, which makes them less maneuverable. And Grape Shot is for killing off the crew. Which is then really good to do if you're going to try and board, like we are about to do now. If, if this tanker is going to stop. <laughs> okay, put some more rounds in those sails. Come on. Are you going to give up? There we go. Come on. Tag it. There we go. Oh. The ships collide with a mighty crash. The demoralized crew quickly surrenders. King's Ransom and Gold and Plunder are yours for the taking. That's because we decimated their ship quite a bit. Uh, it, automates to, no, it automates the victory if you are ensured a victory, basically. And, oh, okay, that is a lot. I did not expect to get that much from a smuggler. Let's but this see. This is King's Ransom, so they were not joking there. Let's take all of that. Actually, just take all. This that gives us I, three I months of food. This. A lot of luxuries. Oh, it was a bit less graphic, though. Yeah, typically when you uh, typically when you board a ship, you get into a fencing mini game where you duel with the captain of the other ship. Whilst in the background, the crew and uh, your crew starts fighting as well. Uh, yeah. You can win in two ways, I believe. Either one side's captain wins, or the one side's crew runs out. Hmm. Um, I think let's I'm keep this ship. Not liking the fencing, so that it was either too easy or too hard. Uh, that depends mostly on the a bit, yeah, on the difficulty, probably. Let's have a look. There. Okay. But yeah, if you are really good with if you are good with defending, um, then you can easily uh, capture ships far larger than your own. Oh dear. Okay, merchants. He, okay, thirty gold for luxuries. So yeah, we are selling all of that. They have a limited amount, so you will have to move around a bit every now and then. And the shipwright, let's sell this thing off. It would, we could repair it. It's, it's actually about the same as our ship, only it has copper plating and cotton sails, which make it faster and more better protected. We could give it grape shots. Hmm. Uh, oh, selling it would only give us 10 gold. It did put quite a bit of holes in it. A bit? 
let's keep it around for now. We're not going to repair it just yet. Actually, screw it. Hey, time's up now, Helian. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, according to the timer here, I still have some seven minutes, so let's let's go out one more time at least. Uh, yeah, we are at the two hours mark, but we haven't given this game its full time yet. Yeah, let's repair it. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. If we can find a place that also upgrades with chain shots, then this will become our new flagship. Capturing ships and selling them is also a good way to make some money every now and then. Chain shots. Why did that make me imagine you loading your cannons with chainsaws? <laughs> there, there's probably at least one parody out there that does that. His name is Dr. Bright, my good sir. From SCP uh, but... Foundation. Yeah, I've heard of him. Not actually, I've not, not actually seen any of those. Uh, Doctor Bright is not allowed to do X, 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 and X and X and basically everything ever again. Uh, I have heard plenty of about the character. Yeah, I, I listened to a few of them, and they all outright <laughs> entertaining and concerning. Let's see. The French stronghold of Montserrat, population 1800. Is baking in the sun. When available, food is generally is usually pretty inexpensive here. Okay, let's take a look at the ta tavern. Get some information. Okay, nothing going on. Ship ride in antique you can upgrade your ship, uh, ship with copper plating if you like. Your ship will turn more quickly. Why would armor plating on the sides make it turn quicker? Shield die. It made the turn quicker due to it at the risk of breaking? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Let's, uh, let's get some more green. Green. <laughs> Mysterious Traveler. Okay, 200, let's take that. And, well, that's easy. On the higher difficulties, of course, you'll get uh, less parts of a map like this. Let's see, northeast of Trinidad. <laughs> I always forget that Trinidad is in the freaking Caribbean. Holland! I saw the speak about Holland! Okay, Trinidad on a, a piece of land that looks like a boot. Trinidad, Trinidad, where is Trinidad? There is Trinidad, oh. Wait. Is it... Is it over there? Indian totem. Oh. Oh. Northeast of it is literally northeast of Trinidad, but the map is just the area of Trinidad. Let's head over there, and then we'll probably call it. Yeah, I think I saw a ship called the Dolphin. Okay, okay. it's quite a bit down. Um, yeah. Four weeks out of St. Kitts, and for that, yeah, that's a dolphin, and there we have some friendships with immigrants, a good place, uh, good ships to attack if you want crew, military payroll, well, it's a payroll ship, it, it's putting a new governor, that's a good way to disrupt things I get, ship and deter, economy flourishes, yeah, govern, I'm not really sure how governors really typically attack things, oh, do not want to run aground, but uh, yeah, that one improved the, the economy. So you could technically you could try starving a place out by uh, oh, hello pirate ship. Oh, that that's not attack one of the dread pirates just yet. I just realized that name, um, Hidian, you're mm -hmm. sailing to steal his treasure. Yeah. Where? The Okay, we're there. That, that's his comic call. You see it past the pirate you plan to rob. Yeah, and... Okay, I made a, a small mistake earlier. There are six factions, actually, in this game. There's the Dutch, the French, the Spanish, and the French. And, of course, you have the pirates. But you also... Uh, I made a wrong turn. There's also the, uh, the Native Americans, uh, who are also a part of this. Oh dear. And yeah, you see these battlements here? If you 
if you start uh, annoying certain factions enough, they will start attacking you. Now, if we run aground here... Okay, no. A bit too close for it. Let's see. I'm going in the tavern. Oh, hello there. Can not talk now? The captain of the guard lock now for loose talk. Okay. <laughs> the barmaid is annoyed by the pushy captain of the guard. The buzz off, you young whippersnapper, or run you through heat trap as you reply. Okay, we can get into a brawl here. Okay. We have our own evasive options, we have our offensive options. The thrust is a bit overpowered with this because it comes out really quick. And they can oh, yeah. typically get underneath someone's defense like that, like underneath someone's offense like that. You just push them back. They can still counter. Uh, in general, you just, just keep poking them. Counter attack. Oh, and I accidentally skipped so through that, but yeah. <laughs> That would have been a cinematic of uh, him getting knocked out by the barmaids. Aye, but you're a bold one. That quick sword of yours will come in handy around these parts. Looks like more men are looking to join your crew. Okay. I'm not really sure what, all of the effects that that could have, but in this case, it attracted more crew to our side. So 31! Okay. Yeah, we're, we're definitely crewed for two ships at the moment. Just hope we have enough food for them. Yeah. Don't empire. Let's see. Mysterious travel office to show you Ruby Ring. Will help win the heart of the governor's daughter and can be yours for only 800. You currently have 16. Always nice when a game tells you how much of something you have Peter when you might Rose. spend it. Uh, introduced to the governor's daughter, they say she's a real beauty. Shoe darling. They always yeah, say that. <laughs> and I, when they say that, I half expect them to troll you. Island Scantling. See, it, one minor noise is that it doesn't actually tell you what this does here. We can okay, check Island it in Scantling here. Is upgrade from copper. Iron Scantling, okay. Let's see. Now it's a different upgrade. Uh, I. Iron Scantling. The ship enhancement outlet to. Okay, resist all damage. Okay. And we might as well see. Let's see. Uh, copper. Copper plating. Allow more to turn more quickly. And what about cotton sails? Allows to sail faster. Okay. And that's the timer, but we are. Oh! Okay, just. Turning and then over here. Yep, we can land. We can land on land, actually. Let's see. We have an Incan ruin. A ruin. Let's check the map. Not that map. This map. Let's see. There's something it's overlay. Near, uh, it's near the ruin. Overlay screen. Uh, a cabin, a totem, and a ruin. And uh, yeah, the, the treasure name is overlaying with that. So, yeah. The same pirate with the same past. And that's the temple, that's the ruin, and that's the totem. So it should be around here ish. Yeah, it should sure be time be. passes. Like, I think it's just between the, the totem and the temple. Let's see. Uh, right beside, actually, town, hmm. if I recall correctly, some of these cases have a big X appearing or so. It, again, it has been a quite a while. Wait, the Let's X is closing on the totem. Yeah, oh. Uh, there's the, <laughs> you just approach it. Um, I'm guessing, I'm guessing it was a bit too close to the totem, and thus overlaid or overwrote it. A few hours of digging uncovers Lone's buried treasure worth 1500, I think it said. Congratulations, you've earned your first fame point. You collect points for plundering gold, receiving promotions, defeating notorious pirates, finding buried treasures, romancing governor's daughters, rescuing your lost relatives, discovering lost cities, and defeating the evil Marquis de la Montalban. Mont Montalban? Montal Montalban. 
Okay. And we can instantly return to ship and take off. But let's go back into Trinidad and call it here. I'm, I'm a bit unsure about playing this, you know, streaming this game, because there is a story, yeah? But like I said also, I've never been able to finish this game. Either I get too distracted or things start to bog down. So it is a, it's a, it's a maybe with a hard lean to yes, but it'll just depend on how we uh, stream it then. Yeah. Maybe we could put it on Saturdays. That's possible. Because yeah, it, you you can get much bigger ships, of course, which will be much better in combat, but those will also be slower. So. Yeah, I think you. what you probably should go for is making a bit of a fleet that's balanced, with smaller fast ships and bigger, just boom ships. Boom ships! <laughs> well, yeah, let's see then again. We have uh, Shadowrun, which is, which is a maybe. It'll just take probably a long-ass time to stream that fully to its story. We have Shank, which, well, I'll need, I'll need to check if I can fix it, make it run better. Uh, then, it, But that is a maybe. Uh, Shantae already said, that's a hard, yeah, that's a good yes, and, well, this one, a, a maybe leaning to yes. Any thoughts of you, uh, you have on these games? Not so much, but I, I definitely look towards uh, Shantae and uh, Shadowrun. Let's see, how do we... There we go. So, I think about it, I think you said that, that, that you had heard that the Shadowrun game was six hours long. But that makes me realize now that if it's like six hours long, that they, they whoever made that the timer probably forgot to count in the reading. Yeah, because the, those games are stuck to the brim with, count, uh, with readings. Yeah, so... Yeah, six hours probably be correct if you skip all the reading. You know, or at least speed read it through yourself and don't voice act it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a good batch of games, I'd say. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, that'll be it for t uh, today. And yeah, now, it, now it's just plain pitch dark outside. Damn. Yeah, it has, it has gone down uh, over the horizon. I'll check. I'll check the the footage of the stream afterwards to see if the flickering is too much or not. If for some reason, it doesn't seem to like my chair at certain angles. Okay. But yeah, other than that, I don't think it should be too, uh, yeah, distracting. So I'll probably stick with this once we're done with uh, dishonored. <clears throat> It was a bit of a bitch to get working for because for some reason Nvidia broadcast refused to start up earlier. That's why the stream was late and was late today. Ah. Well, but, we'll yeah. Play next time. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be. Hopefully it'll be. Hey, I do have a few programs running besides this. Like I have Nvidia broadcast. I have the voice meter. I have the chatty pro. Oh, what? Why the hell? Oh, of course I forgot. The chatty program doesn't work on full screen games. I, I need to run it windowed to have it overlaid. I'd forgotten <laughs> about that. And uh, yeah, Nvidia broadcast, chatty, voice meter, then IQ for the macro keys. So yeah, still things seem think they have things. <clears throat> Pardon. Things still run pretty well on my end, at the very least. Still don't know why Shank was so such a problem uh, troublemaker with that, though. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'll work on that on my own time. For now, though, anyone has been watching now or later, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, Drakir and Rom, even though he's already gone by now. You're most welcome, my friend. And yeah, next week we start on the second and last DLC of Dishonored 1. And I'm thinking we probably finish that in two or three streams. And after that, we'll continue on with the dark side side of the games. Yay! But for now, th again, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. 
and we're on to next. Be safe, folks. <coughs>